Hey, this is your boy, Jody Boy Sam, and welcome to Copy Diem. Now, I have no idea what this is about. I don't know the story of it. I do know it's a visual novel. It's an anime, which to be fair, I love anime, fairy tale, and all that stuff. I love, I like watching it. So I was quite drawn to it. Um, it's apparently a short story, so we might be able to play through it just once. I have been, I have, I have been made aware that no matter what path I take, it always has the same ending. ending. Um, so, unless I'm proven wrong, unless someone mentioned no, that's not true. I'm just gonna, this is gonna be like a single playthrough of it. Um, so let's just start a new game. Okay, I'm, oh, it's, here comes the return of the voice acting. <sighs> She's late. I've experienced some problems lately and we weren't, be, we weren't able to hang out in a while. I managed to get things working so I can spend time with her. But it is only temporary and I don't know how long it will last. Hey Jing! Sorry, did I keep you I can't do a girl's voice. Sorry, did I keep you waiting? Yeah, for about half an hour? A guy's supposed to say not a hole here, you know. I didn't know that. I wasn't notified about this change in society. Oh my god, you <laughs> they didn't bother because they know you're not going to follow it anyway. Damn right. So, where do you want to go? Oh, um... I like the arcade. I know a good arcade place. Want to check it out? Please like the arcade. Sure, I've never been to an arcade before, so I'm interested. Yes. Really? Don't you like games? I do, but I usually play at home. I think you'll like it there. We'll see. As we walk inside the arcade, her eyes are filled with amazement and excitement. Hey, Jung, look! She points out a crane game. AI has always loved cute things. I want that big spider plushie. Cute and you say spider. Spiders are not cute, man. And she finds spiders extremely cute for some reasons. I tried to reach for a coin in my pocket. Wait, let me do it. I want to get it on my own. She pulls out some coins and starts playing. Dot dot dot. The plushie has all of her attention. Her first try barely touched the thing she wants. What were you even trying to get? Hush, let me concentrate here. She managed to grab it, but still no luck. Ah, I fail. I'm still perplexed by the cute spidey plushy toy. That, ugh, that, that, why spiders? She inserts another coin and tries again. Dot, dot, dot. And again, lots of dots. And again, the crane is broken. Of course it's not. Here, let me get it for you. I'm not good at the crane mic game myself, but I gotta show off somehow. Dot dot dot. Got it. Thank goodness. Yeah, if you fail to get that, oh my dear God. Wow, how did you do that? It was easy. I pray to all gods I know of. Of course I can't say that. It's all, it's all in the timing. It was a fluke, right? Of course not. I immediately stopped when I saw her holding out a coin. I'll just keep quiet before she asks me to do it again. I'll hand her the big plushie and she hugs it. I hand her the big plushie and she hugs it tight. I need to read the freaking text properly. There were some racing games over there. Want to try it? Not very good fun of those. I'll just watch you. Okay, I'll just play a couple of rounds. I'm not a big fan of racing games either. I just like their setup in the arcade. They are almost in completely enclosed and seats tilts according to the game. It feels real. AI stands behind me and watch me as I play. As I expected, I lost the first round horribly. Wow, John, are you even trying? Of course I'm freaking trying. Bystanders don't get to talk. She plays with a plushie as I continue my game. Then again, I lost. <sighs> Just as I thought, this isn't really my thing. If only they had this kind of setup for a completely different game. AI chuckles as if to mock me. I think you suck whatever game it is. Oh, is that a challenge? Is that a challenge? Is that why you can never win against me? Oh yeah? 
Why don't we sell this once for all? Oh yeah, what is a challenge? She points out the fighting game arcades. I loved playing these when I was a kid, so prepare to get your butt kicked. As clearly noted in my Brawlhalla experience with Xenoph Princess, I am absolutely terrible at fighting games, so this is going to be interesting. I accept your challenge, Missy. Finally, a game I can play with. What? Well, you're good at it. It's not really a date if I'm the only one having fun, right? This is a date. Hmm. Practice game. I don't know the buttons yet, okay. I also have not played this in a long time. We sit across each other and her voice is all I can hear. Spend the first round spent the first round trying to figure out what every button does. After trying some combination, my character accidentally hits her. No fair, don't hit me yet. Hurry up, I can't wait anymore. Just one sec, how do I Oh never mind. Alright, I got it. Come at me anytime, bro. The battle begins, and we got into si we got so into it that I forgot how many rounds we did. But we were, we are more or less evenly matched. I win half the time, and she wins the half, t the other half. More importantly, I get to see a side of her I rarely see. Dot dot dot. Babe, why did I do that? Strangely enough, it was the sound of her. Sound. It, it was the side of her I find cute the most. The buttons are not listening to me. I only see her like this when I play with her at home, which only happens once or twice before. Ha! I won! Beat that! I'm just trying to keep my laughter in while listening to her. We play one round after another. Hey, no fair! I wasn't ready! The more she plays, the better she gets. See? I've beaten you three consecutive times already. Screw this. She laughs and stands up to stretch. Hey Junk, let's go grab something to eat. I was just thinking the same. So far, it's been a nice day, hasn't it? It's been nice. A bit of arcade. Going for a meal. We go to a small diner near the arcade. Where you again? She looks at the menu for a bit. An order of beef and dough and tempura. What is that? I guess I'll get the same. I don't even know what it is, man. We'll find a table while waiting for our order. I hope they post an image of the meal. And the first thing she asks is, "Where's my food?" Looks like looks like playing games really tired AI out. AI, how do you? Patience is a virtue. Patience won't fill me up. Complaining, complaining won't either. And then our order arrives. Actually, yes, I think it just did. <laughs> oh, look, it did. Yeah, point proven. <laughs> she chomps on her food like there's no tomorrow. It did not take a while for her to finish it. Ah, <sighs> that was good. Rejuvenated? Definitely. That, that took all my energy. Well, at least you had fun. Yeah, but we need to pick something less active now. We were playing video games. How is that active? How about the park? I'm cool with that. Here's a good spot to sit. I'm surprised it's a bit chilly despite the sun being directly on top of us. Yeah, nice weather indeed. It's so nice outside and you still and you still like to stay indoors the whole day. Outdoors are nice, but indoors are nicer. She giggles a bit. How, how have you been? Same old, same old. I bet you still only eat instant food, don't you? More or less. Come on, Jung. What nutrition can adding hot water give you? It's fine. You're learning how to cook for me anyway. Is this game sexist or what? <laughs> sure, I'll serve you my speciality dish. Burnt rice balls? Yes, every day. You'll kill me. We haven't seen each other in so long that I have a lot of things to share and ask. And I don't even know where to start. Are you still living in that torn down apartment? Yeah, but it's a bit better now that they've re reinvent renovated a few things. I think my greatest worry about the place is the people though. Most of them are the old people who live there. They should move to a safer place, especially if they're living alone. One good thing about 
one good thing about AI is that she can be talkative. Yeah. Saves me the trouble of trying to keep the conversation alive. I just ask a question and she'll manage to talk for hours about it. How about work? How's it been? Tell her mess and probably will continue to be. Our boss gave us impossible tasks and most of us are pretty much fed up with it. A lot have, have quitted already due to that and the rest are demotivated. Then there's Troy, my co-worker, who would slack off until the last minute. He's such a troublesome guy, makes things harder for us. Sometimes he would even ask our, old, our other co-worker to, to do his part. I listened to her while noticing how much her expression changed since mentioning that Troy guy. There's this one time we got the processors all mixed up so bad because of him. Our boss was furious that time. Then Troy... She paused mid-sentence and stared at me. What? Oh, I see. What is it? You're jealous, aren't you? It's written all over your face. I don't even know who this Troy! <laughs> huh? What are you talking about? You just mentioned him! Anyway, so what did this, what did this Troy guy do? See, the tone of your voice gives it away. I don't, I don't even know who he is. I'm not jealous. Am I jealous? Leave me alone already. Come on, admit it. I stare at her and wait for her to finish laughing. What happened to the job offer you got from the other company? Oh, that. I turned it down. I need to be relocated for that job. I don't really want a new settlement and lifestyle for just a little bit of increase in income. It's not worth it. That's fine. I bet you'll get another job offer soon. Maybe even closer here. Who knows? Duh. You miss me that much already? She really enjoys making me emit embarrassing things. Yes. So I can try to burn. So I can try your burnt rice balls already. We can we continue talking and laughing about random things and totally lost track of time. She suddenly stops talking. I'll be back. She stands up and walks towards the lady giving away some kind of flowers, flyers. She grabs one and waves it at me as she's walking back. They're having a firework display later, we should see it. Yeah, I know about that. They do ha do that here every year. Let's go then, before it gets crowded there. Don't worry, I know a good spot to watch the fireworks. It's less crowded too. So am I basically just going to be reading this out because I was I thought there was going to be some choices and all that stuff. Um, okay, it takes a bit of walking to get there, plus to go up the hill. The sun just sets when we arrive, so it's starting to get dark. Good, it's just us here. Wow, you're right, this is a good view. Right? We sit on the bench and wait for the show. Not long after, dots of light shoots towards the sky. Can I see the fireworks? Slowly faded and bloomed like flowers of different colours. The cheers of the crowd at the foot of the mountain can be heard. AI's face is filled with happiness just watching the fireworks. I wish this could last forever. But I'm running out of time. She looks at me with a sad look. It's time, isn't it? What is going on? <laughs> Almost. Don't worry. It won't be long. What is going on here? It's fine. You really shouldn't bother hanging out with me. Don't say that. After all, I'm just... What? Dot dot dot. Have you heard of the turning test? No. What is the turning test? It's an evaluation of a machine's ability to exhibit intelligence. Whether it can act or speak like human. But however good a machine becomes, however indistinguishable it is from humans, it will never be an actual human being. Zon, is she a he is she a robot or just like AI? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> no matter how good her program is, and no matter how much I deny it myself, she will never be real. What? We aren't in, in the same dimension and reality. Oh my god! <laughs> she will continue to dwell inside the artificial world that I created. I thought she was real, man! I thought... Oh! <sighs> the program crashed again. As expected, it couldn't go any longer than that. 
I really need to come up with a stable fix soon. So is he just, so is he just basically so in love with the artificial intelligence that he's got a relation? What am I doing with my life? Yeah, I'm just about wondering that myself. You need... That was it! What? <laughs> what? I was not... I kind of had a slight hint that it might be something to do with robots. I thought it was just like, like a human dating like a robot humanoid thing because of like if you look at the tile screen it's like the AI it's kind of like highlighted so I think that was giving you giving a slight clue on that but still I was not expecting that you know yeah I thought at the most it would be like a human dating uh, a robot or something or something like that like an AI but I was not expecting it like on a computer screen or a TV screen um oh god but yeah, that that was copy DM. Like like I mentioned at the beginning, uh, basically no matter what path I check, uh, choose, it was just going to be the same ending. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And have an awesome day, a brilliant day. Don't get attached to the computer. And have a fantastic day. And I'll see you in the next video. Ta-ra for now. Mm -hmm.